All right, folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It is graft day. Graft day. So yesterday I checked the hive, and if you recall, I mentioned, you know, here, okay, here's my date. It's 718 on the frame, so I remember where we were at on the frame. First day I found eggs there right in here, and that was all there was on the frame. The next day, all this was laid out as well as the whole opposite side of the frame. So yesterday I found these eggs that hatched into larva. This was all still eggs. So they're larva now. So I know these are the youngest larva we have. And I know that that's the ideal ones I want. So I'm set up. Got my frame propped up. You can see it's propped a little bit at an angle. And that's so that when I'm sitting here looking, I can see right down inside the cells. And let me see if I can shine a light in here. I think I need a light. I might not need a light. Let me see if I can get this to show up. Y'all just bear with me a second. I'm going to try to show you the larva that we're after. Uh, Focus, focus, oh, that's too bright. Oh man, it's tough to see, but right down there in the middle of the image, you can see teeny tiny larva down in the bottom of the cell. So I'm trying to get my light just right. There we go. I think that's right. Um, yeah. Probably what you guys can actually see. I'm, try, I'm trying to look at the phone myself to see what I'm seeing. Um, oh, maybe that's better. Anyway, most likely what y'all can see is not as much the larva, but you can see the, um, the little reflection of a little shine of a little bit of honey and a little bit of royal jelly. So each larva is floating in a little puddle of royal jelly. So right there, dead in the middle, where you see, if you look, if you stare at it for a second, you'll see the little white grub, half moon shaped, laying in that puddle of royal jelly. So this whole frame pretty much is laid up right now. Like I said, the, the newest, youngest larva, those are the ones I want, and they're over here. These are a little bit older. They, these would still work because they're still in that 36 hour range, but I want the youngest ones I can get. Um, and then I've got my, my grafting frame set up here ready, all these cell cups. These have been polishing for two days, and you can see actually, this was an old queen cell they were working on tearing down, but you can see here where bees have actually started building new comb off of this queen cell cup and I don't know why but these are very thoroughly polished very well rounded um, these are those pure beeswax cell cups that I got from Jason Christman so I'm gonna try those out again and then on the bottom row I've got a whole bunch of Jay-Z BZ cup and a bunch of extra so when I graft I'll always graft as many as I can um, just because you never know how many of them are gonna take and you know worst case if you're left with a whole bunch of extra queens find somebody to give them to or sell them to but I mean if you have to just kill them because you raise these queens for pennies, you know, no more than time it took you to do the work. So you're not wasting money to throw them away. Uh, ideally, find somebody to give them to, but if you ha don't have enough bees to make enough splits to house all these queens, just, you know, no harm. So I always graft way more than I need just so I make sure I've got plenty. But let me get into the grafting here. Show you my tool. This is what they call a German grafting tool, and I found this is the one I like. Um, I've tried a couple different methods. Made a video a long time ago how I beat a copper wire into a grafting tool when I needed one one time. Um, but I've also got the Chinese grafting tool here. A lot of people like this one uh, because it's got a little, shoot, is it broken? There we go. It's got this little plate at the bottom. So you slide that flat fin, let me get to focus. You slide this fin underneath the larva. Come on, come on. Let's do it down here on the newspaper. Oh my god. There you go. Slide that fan under the larva and then you got this little plunger where you can scoot the larva off. But I, didn't, I really didn't have any luck with it. I didn't like it much. It's pretty big and cumbersome to try to get that whole piece of plastic down inside the frame. So I just seem to use my German grafting tool. And uh, it's got the bigger spoon on that end. A little bitty hook on this end. A lot of times I find myself just using that real little bitty hook so I can get down inside cells and scoop them out real easy. I like that a lot. I'll move a dab of, these the larvae don't have a whole lot of royal jelly on them, so I'll move a dab of honey into each cell cup and use that to float the larva off. So, just thought I'd show you guys that's my method. I'm not saying the Chinese tool doesn't work, it's just not my preference. All right, hopefully, I think my hand's probably gonna block exactly what y'all see, but just, watch the process. So what I'm doing is I'm looking down inside these cells 
and again, I'm just looking for the larva I like. I'm actually right over here on this far edge, I'm still seeing eggs. So moving inwards, I start to see larva. So I know that these larvae that are closest to the eggs are the youngest larva for sure. They probably just hatched here in the last couple hours. Um, so those are the ones I'm after. So what I'm going to do, like I told you all, take a little dab of honey and put it into a cell cup. Now my grafting frame is kind of poorly designed because I can't rotate it out to, to see into the cells easier. But then I'm just going to reach in here. Find a larva, and you want to just slide your tool under that larva. You don't want to roll the larva, you just want to pick it up and float it on your tool. And I'll be honest with you, these things are so tiny, I've got one on the tool, but I can hardly see it. And that's just me staring this close, I can barely see it. So, put it back down into the cell cup there. Work it around a little bit, try to get that larva to fall off your tool into the fluid. Look at the tool. I can see the larva is no longer on my tool, and looking down inside the cell, I can I can see the larva floating in the cell. So that one's good. Um, what I'll do to speed things up is I'll go ahead and put, I'll go ahead and prime every single one of these cells with the honey like I like to, and that way when I go to graft, then I'm grafting a lot faster. So I'll cut this off. It's the same thing over and over and over, but you know I've tried different. Um, I've tried, I bought a lighted magnifying glass and it just got in the way, so at this point I just rely on my old eagle eyes to, to look in there and see them, but, you know, find what works for you. Whew, alright, so I think that took me about 15 minutes or so, but I've got all the graphs made. Um, I think they all went pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to run out now, and what I'll do is I'll put this frame with the graphs on it into the hive again. And uh, I'll take every bit of brood that I can find out of that hive and reduce them down to just ideally just a frame with pollen and a frame with honey on it. And I, I had picked I picked out a frame yesterday that I like. It's got just a small patch of cat brood, um, so that the uh, nurse bees shouldn't be paying much attention to it anyway. Uh, but it's got a lot of open nectar on it, and uh, it's got some pollen on it too. So, but this frame here with all these baby larvae, I'm going to put it into a different hive, into a staging hive with the queen. Uh, and I want, you know, I want every bee in this hive to be focusing on these graphs and nothing else. So we'll go do it. So you can see now we've reduced the hive down even further. We're down to three frames. We've got the grafting frame in the middle. We've got this frame that's got just a hair of cat brood that I can't really do anything about, but we've got a lot of pollen and a lot of open nectar on it. And then we've got this frame that is about half capped honey and about half open nectar. So aside from that little patch of brood, there's no other sealed brood in this hive and got a good, good group of bees that'll be able to just get all over and you can see they're already crawling all over that grafting frame. They're going to get all over that thing and they're going to start working on those larvae and turn them into queen cells. Already I pulled out this frame, you can see how much cat brood is on it. It's going to go in the holding hive but you can see down here they already had two emergency cell cups. Here's an emergency cup so already just from being queenless overnight they were trying to pull all these emergencies. So I'm going to get all these put together, get them closed up and that's it for the next 24 hours.